Hello all, welcome back. So in this session, we are going to learn what is industrial IoT. Uh, some of uh, my um, viewers have asked a question like what is the difference between IoT and industrial IoT. So I thought I can have a quick session which can clarify the differences between IoT and industrial IoT while also explaining the major uh, aspects of what makes an IoT infrastructure as industrial IoT infrastructure. Industrial IoT is also called industrial internet, remember it. So people call these two terms interchangeably and we are going to have a quick session on this. Before we uh, go into the uh, session content, we need to understand how exactly the industrial revolution started. The first industrial revolution, people call it industry 1.0. It started in 1974 and it is all about mechanization, steam power usage. That was the revolution then. Then it became industry 2.0 at 1870 where assembly line, electrical energy usage and mass production came into picture. When it became 1969, automation came into picture and computers and electronics started growing. But now we are in the world of cyber physical systems and IoT and this is called industry 4.0 and this is what we call as industrial IoT uh, setup. This is what we call as industrial internet revolution. We are going to see about the same in this session. Well, what is IoT? The IoT is all about usage of the smart sensors and actuators. I have got sensors and actuators available with me and they are smart now. They are used to enhance or improve the manufacturing process that is the industrial process should be improved and taken to the next level. That is the whole motto of this industrial IoT. The next level what I mean is industrial internet or people call it industrial 4.0 and that is what I meant here as industrial 4.0 cyber physical system based or industrial IoT based industry revolution. We are targeting it and that's where we are heading to. IoT is completely driven with the usage of power of analytics. What I mean as data analytics, smart machines and the data is going to play a much vital role than ever. All the machines are producing data for all these years but do we utilize it as it has to be utilized? No is the answer. Now it is going to be utilized better through the industrial IoT. IoT just does not collect the data or analyze it. It does a bit more than that. What is that bit more? The focus is all on communicating the most important and vital information real time and importantly on time or in time to take decisions which can avoid damages, which can increase productivity, which can help you to take business decisions much faster. This is the crux of IAOT. I will take data, I will analyze but this happens at a much faster pace, much faster pace and the communication really happens to the uh, destination and this can help us in arriving at decisions at much, 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 much faster pace than what we did earlier. This is the revolution. This could help us in business, process and everything around the business. So, one of the finest definitions I found in the literature, I have been going through a lot of uh, websites and references for this, where I could find out this, IEOT is all about the machines, the computers and the people enabling intelligent industrial operations using advanced data analytics for transformational business outcome. The word transformational is what is most important. The transformational business outcome is what is targeted through IAOT. We have got IAOT applications in the industrial, factory manufacturing sector, smart grid, smart power, smart communication, smart city, robotics and whatnot. Everywhere, wherever you manufacture something, I can make it industrial IOT stuff. Now, it is very important to understand how IAOT works. With high quality available sensors and actuators, which are also affordable these days, we can buy it easily, they play a major role in IEOT. They are helpful in identifying the mistakes and inefficiencies much better than earlier. Now this collected data will be helpful for us in doing the prognostic and diagnostic analysis and decisions can be made faster. So what I mean as prognostic is, I collect series of data, I now can predict that this is going to be a problem if it runs for next two hours. So I take decisions much better now and much earlier now because of this available sensors, the data analytics capacity and communication capacity. IAT can, IAOT can be used for enhancing the supply chain management, the green energy efforts can be improved, quality control techniques can be very well tracked and improved, asset tracking and many more are really used <coughs> with IAOT. IAOT can get you a lot of scope and most importantly, 
uh, every industry is now transformation transformation is happening for every industry towards uh, industry 4.0 and that's none other than iot now how does it work acquire analyze display or control is the general logic for any system yes here also we are going to follow that intelligent sensors will sense the data and here transportation of the sensed data happens in a much faster way and each sensor will have a proper id address as you know and hence it can be identified as properly as it has to be now this data will be quickly analyzed and decisions can be taken that's the third part of it in between the second point that i have mentioned the same data can be stored for future usage that's all this is how iot works and now there is something called as edge computing which i have already dealt in my channel availability of the edge devices has made the life really easier and the data gets transmitted much faster much much faster and for an instance tracking a status of a machine or a particular part of a machine has become much more easier now and the data directly goes from the edge to the system and the decisions can be taken much faster so i have dealt this in detail in my edge versus cloud computing edge versus for computing videos as well in my channel if you have queries you can see that out now what do we do we have intelligent sensors that acquires data immediately the tra the data transfer happens and decisions are arrived immediately that's the best part of it and this data can be stored for the future also the only thing that i need is i need appropriate edge devices i need intelligent sensors for me to get this accomplished this is the simple architecture that i have drawn for you to easily understand i have machineries available with me i use sensors actuators and edge devices to collect the data and to send it across that goes through the gateway i have iot platform or local servers available where i can store this data analytics processing business application everything runs over there and you get the complete system as iot based system right now people normally ask a question what is the difference between iot and iot both are common as per uh, the way the sensors are being used the way the platforms are used both are both are almost the same but there are some mild differences which are worth listening uh, iot is normally uh, done with smart bands smart appliances and it can range from the smart home uh, smart applications like healthcare applications consumer applications etc if an iot application fails for example i have a smart band it fails to send data i am using it for normal walking or other tracking purposes if it fails it is not going to kill or create some catastrophic effects but i have an industrial iot application where when i uh, fail to observe something or if the industrial iot application fails there it could cause damage for example an oil leakage or pipeline leakage is not identified that could cause catastrophic effects this is the major difference iot can cause damages if not working properly iot will not cause that much damages iot will cause fatal effects if things are not done proper iot will not do that this is the major difference that you guys need to understand hope the session was simple and useful if you have any comments suggestions please go ahead and type it in the comment section if you need any new topics to be dealt let me know i'll handle it thank you very much